Hello and welcome to Searching the Scriptures, a daily podcast where Bible topics will be discussed and Bible questions will be given Bible answers. No opinion, just Bible. This episode is Lesson 33 of our look at the book of 2 Corinthians. In the last episode, we covered 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 1 and 2. And in this episode, we're going to look at 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 3 and 4. And the episode will be titled, Paul Compares His Sufferings to Christ. Let's read 2 Corinthians chapter 13, beginning at verse 3. Since you seek a proof of Christ speaking in me, which to you it is not weak, but is mighty in you. For though he was crucified through weakness, yet he lives by the power of God. For we are also weak in him, but we shall live with him by the power of God towards you. Paul has just told the Corinthians that I'm coming again, and I'm going to be very severe with those who are not repentant. He then comes along and says, You have sought from me proof that I am an apostle. Because of the manner in which he dealt with them. In other words, he was very forceful with them. He called on them to repent, and someone's probably saying, Who made you an apostle? What proofs do you have that you're an apostle? He's saying, you've overlooked the things that I've done among you, the miracles I've done among you, the powers that I've shown you, and you have received through me. He says, I shouldn't have to prove to you that I'm an apostle. I've done those things already. And then he comes along and compares his suffering to Christ, because both were unjust. Christ suffered unjustly. He should not have stood before Pilate. The Jews had no charges to bring before Pilate. He was not a blasphemer, just like the Jews said, because he was God. He was not a murderer. He was not an insurrectionist. He was not a thief. There was no reason for Christ to be before Pilate. There was no reason for Pilate to crucify Christ. He found him not guilty three times. And yet, Jesus was still crucified. He was unjustly treated. Now, yes, we know that God's plan was for Jesus to die for the sins of mankind. We have 20-20 hindsight. The people at that time didn't know what they were doing. Paul says, had they known, they would not have crucified Christ. Now, Jesus suffered unjustly. He didn't deserve to be there. And yet he was there, he was there willingly, and he died on the cross willingly for our sins. But that just doesn't change the fact that Jesus didn't deserve the treatment he received. The people should have known better. They had witnessed for three years Jesus' miracles, Jesus' teachings, Jesus raised people from the dead. How could they not believe? And yet because of their hardened hearts, they just refused. People, People do the same thing today. We can teach the word of God, it can be very plain, and people say, I just don't get it because their hearts are closed. It's because they don't want to see it. The people who crucified Christ didn't want to see the truth. And so they made up their own version of the truth. Paul is saying, you're treating me the same way. You are treating me unjustly, and you should know better. I am an apostle by Jesus Christ, and therefore you should accept what I am teaching you. But he comes along and says, Jesus, despite his sufferings, lives by the power of God. God raised him up from the dead. Christ is not dead anymore. Even though he suffered unjustly, he died in an unjust way, in a way he didn't deserve. God raised him up. Acts 2, verses 32 to 36, Peter says that on the day of Pentecost. By the power of God. Because God has the power to raise people from the dead, Christ was raised from the dead. He says he was crucified through weakness. In other words, he suffered wrongly. His body suffered. Yet he lives through the power of God. And Paul comes along and says, we're the same way. We only live by the power of God. In sins, I am dead. And if I die in my sins... There's no hope for me. But I live through Christ. Same way, even if I suffer here on this earth through the weakness of our bodies, I can live through God. I can live by the power of God because God is able to raise me up. God is able to restore my soul if I'm obedient. I can live for Christ even here on this earth through weakness. 
and I can live one day with God in heaven. It, when God raises us up from the dead, if we are not alive when Christ comes again. That's, Paul, that's what Paul is saying here in, in chapter 13, verses 3 and 4. In our last episode, for the main text of 2 Corinthians, we're going to be covering 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 5 through 13. We will be doing a review episode following that, but this will be the last episode concerning the text of 2 Corinthians, and so we hope you will join us for that episode. But perhaps you're listening and you're not a Christian. The brethren here in Toronto would love to study the Bible with you so that you could hear the Word of God, believe it, and obey it before it is everlastingly too late. If you'd like to set up a study, you can send us an email at Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. On behalf of the East End Church of Christ in Toronto, Canada, I'd like to thank you for listening to this episode. For free online Bible-based material or to get directions to our meeting place, you can visit our website at www.eastendchurch.org. While there, you'll also find links to more of our podcasts, as well as links to the live broadcasts of our services. Should you have any questions about this or any of the other podcasts you may have listened to, you may leave a comment below or email us at Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Please join me, the Lord willing, again in the next episode when we will be discussing another topic from God's Word. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.